it's a lot harder for managers to keep abreast of the work of their teams in a work from home world. When everyone was together, simple hallway chatter and visual cues gave you 60% of the information you needed to know things were progressing and employees were engaged. How can you stay connected today without becoming a pest? When you feel out of the loop, suspicious, or nervous, you've got two choices. Talk it out or act it out. You act it out when you demand detailed or frequent updates without sharing the reasons you want them. You act it out when you pepper someone with requests at unscheduled moments to, quote, check up on them. When you do these things, you destroy trust and demoralize your employees. The best way to ensure your legitimate information needs are met in a way that doesn't irritate your direct reports is to have an honest conversation about three things. First, the information you want. Second, the reasons you want it. And third, the best way for you to get it. Each of these topics provides room for healthy disagreement, negotiation, and compromise. But before you can have a good conversation with a direct report, you must have one with yourself. Be honest with yourself, not just about the information you want, but why you want it. If, for example, you want daily activity reports because you don't trust people to be fully engaged, you're in for trouble. In a work from home world, you can't hold people accountable to activity you must get better at defining results. And if you have reason to believe they won't deliver results, that's the conversation you need to have. If you want weekly updates on a project because you don't trust the team to deliver on time, examine your fears. If you have legitimate evidence to support them, you'll need to disclose this to those who might otherwise be irritated by your weekly update requirement. Once you've clarified what you really want and have been honest with yourself about why you want it, you'll be in a perfect position to talk honestly with your colleagues about your preferences. You'll come up with clear expectations about staying in the loop in a way that they can understand and appreciate. Thanks for watching. Visit CrucialLearning.com slash say that for more tips and resources for how to speak up when it matters most.